Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to extend the building the building saving system and extend it to use your own your own users basically. Um, so in this example, I'm going to show you how we can load and save the player and the player position and rotation, and basically just going to show you how to use the API and extend it to anything else you want uh, you want to do with it. So let's start by going to the building placer and first of all when loading the data we need to have some kind of uh, identity of who is the player in the scene. Now we can make a public static instance of our transform. So let's go ahead and make a public static transform variable. I'm gonna call we're going to call this player instance and we need to assign this in the awake. So make sure to assign this before this is called because this function is basically load and initializing all the saving the callbacks initializes the call the callback manager sorry and um, when it does that it basically loading all the data so if you assign the player in the player instance after that it's not gonna find the player and this is our issue so let's go ahead and assign this here so player instance um, equals to sorry equals to this transform and the saving system has a few classes and few interfaces you need to look for uh, the first the only interface actually is the um, UTS saved item. This interface basically if you want to go into it is gonna have uh, one method in it which is save and this is gonna we need to use this method to basically save our data and the system is gonna take the data and save it into a file. So the interface is a way to allow the system to know what items in the scene currently are supposed to be ser uh, serialized and basically saved into into this into a file. Um, so in this method, we need to return some kind of a saving data. For now, we're not we're going to return null until we add um, our until we create our data. So let's create a new class. We're going to call this one um, player uh, save data. And we need to generate here from uh, UTS saved da save data, basically save data, and to also make the system serializable. Don't forget, this is very important, or the serializing won't work. And go into UTS save data, press F12, and we're gonna have in here one virtual method which is uh, load, right? So we're also gonna have GUID, which is basically for scene objects. You don't really need to taking it we don't really need to take this into any account just leave this blank um, let's see we go ahead and use the load method so first of all let's go ahead and make some some variables um, I'm gonna make a public serializable vector 3 variable and I'm gonna explain what is the vec the serializable vector 3 and what is the difference between this vector 3 to the normal unity engine vector 3 and I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna explain the same for a, in a second to the serializable quaternion. Um, so I'm gonna create two variables in here: serializable vector three position and serializable quaternion rotation. Uh, we're also gonna create in here a uh, constructor, so it's gonna be easier for us to uh, create an instance of this um, of this class. Uh, when I get in here two parameters, you're gonna see. Please note that we're taking here a normal vector three instead of a serializable vector three. Um, I'm just gonna assign them. So as you can see, even though there are different classes, oops, one sec. Even though there are different classes, um, if we see in a second, it's still gonna be able to assign them without giving us any errors. And let me explain now what's the difference between the both, between the serializable vector three and vector three, and between the serializable quaternion to the normal quaternion. So normally quaternion and vector three aren't serializable. If we're gonna try to serialize them and save them into a file, it's gonna return an error because they aren't serializable. So I created a custom two classes for you that basically um, lets you serialize a vector three um, class and a quaternion class, and you don't need to do any effort in order to convert it. It already does this for you automatically, uh, automatically. And uh, if we go ahead and override the load method, um, we need to get the data we already have, well, like we got from the saving system. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create an instance of this data. When I convert this base UTS data into our data, and now we're gonna just get the parameters and load this into our own. Oops. Okay. Here's what, where we use the building placer dot player instance. Right. So, what this is is basically um, a way for us to get the player we already have. So that's what I explained a second ago, and what we need this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. This. So. 
one disadvantage here is you all you also you need to do some kind of conversion at the end of the day. Um, so position and a placer. I'll for instance the transfer rotation equals to quaternion data rotation. So if you would convert it that way, it would give you errors. Um, so you just need to do that, and that's it. And there you go. This is all we need to do. And on the save, just return a new player save data. Trust the trust the position, trust the rotation, and that's it. Oops, and that's it. So go into the game now. Uh, oh, okay. Don't worry. Just ignore that for now uh, because we don't have a data there. And just play some buildings just to show that the normal saving still works. Didn't really override any saving of the normal building saving, still works. And we're gonna go ahead and play some buildings. You can place chest if you like, doesn't really matter. And we can also place this. Uh, if you want, you can also make uh, okay, next. Oh, the bottom is the stairs. One second, find this. You can also place some stairs in here, uh, or it's very nicely. And we can also place a ceiling, let's say, in here. Let's go ahead and some things there you go we have a ceiling and go ahead and stop playing stop playing again and it's all saved as you can see I was gonna message to the UTS successfully load the data and also save data whatever and uh, see we still have the same position if we're gonna move around again let's go in the stairs let's go in the stairs and go to the ceiling for a second I'm gonna go into the stairs for example and uh, start again everything works perfectly um, no issues and that's it basically on a tutorial on how to extend the saving system that comes with the UTS build system. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video and it's going to help you to um, develop your game. If you have any more questions you can ask in the beta group or in the forums if it's already if you are watching this video after DAS that was released. And uh, that's it.